Hi, I'm Pepper Mart, and today I want to talk to you about a couple of knives I just purchased. The first one is a Saab Tech Bowie. Now, here's what it looks like in its sheet. Seems like it's pretty good sheet. Uh, has a uh, latching system here on the back that uh, you just squeeze here and then you pull down, it opens up, and then you can put it on your belt or uh, it should fit on a military pistol belt. Then this latchet there has a little, like a little rubber pull tab here to pull on that after you release it this end. Uh, around this side here it has a button fastener which is uh, feels like it's a rubber strap type thing and uh, has a little area here it latches a knife in. But unlike my Gerber knives, that it holds in there good but you can pull it out without a problem. My Gerber knives, they're really latched in there for some reason. But, uh, so here's what it is outside the sheet now. Now, I like this knife. This is, seems like it's a really good quality built knife. Sog has a good reputation. Uh, the blade on this knife is ridiculously sharp. I mean, it's unbelievably sharp. It comes down to a tapered point, which is really sharp. Uh, the nice feature about the way this comes to the point is you can take and uh, clean small fish with it, clean small game, skin small game, so it makes it nice for that. Uh, it's good quality and sh blade, heavy duty blade, so you can chop down small trees, chop off tree branches, split, split uh, wood with it. Now back here, this is really thick back here. So that makes it really good for uh, splitting wood. Simply just put this blade on your piece of wood you're trying to split, hit it with another piece of wood, and just knock it right through that piece of wood to split it, and it seemed like it'll hold up very well doing it. This seemed like a good heavy duty knife. Uh, like I said, I can't keep emphasizing how sharp it is. Usually uh, a knife like this isn't razor blade sharp, and this baby's razor blade sharp. Now, the handle fits my hand pretty good, but I have, uh, let's say a size medium hand. I take size medium gloves. And my hand takes about the whole handle up here. So, uh, if you have an extra large hand or bigger, I think I'd go and try this in my hand before I would buy it. Because the handle might be too small. Now, the blade's a little over six inches. And overall length is about a little over 11 inches. Now, I don't think I use this butt cap here for hammering anything. I just don't think it's heavy duty enough to be able to hold up the ha hammering anything at all. But overall, this would make a good hunting knife. Uh, like I said, you could chop down some small trees with it. Uh, chop away small branches with it, split wood without a problem. And... Uh, Anything to do with hunting, uh, skinning, gutting, large game, small game, whatever. I think what I'm going to do with this knife here is I'm going to use this for my scouting knife. I'm going to put this on my pistol belt whenever I go scouting an area out. And if I have to bug out and I grab my survival pack, then I'm going to put this in my survival pack as a backup knife. But uh, it just seems like a good quality nice sharp knife uh, that I really like. Now the next knife that I just purchased is a Gerber Silver Trident. Now here's a box that comes in. Comes with uh, instructions for how to take care of it. This is a real high end stainless steel blade that they use and it's really heat treated to make it really nice and hard, keep a nice sharp edge for a long time, and it helps keep it from being brittle by the way they heat treat it. So they suggest you clean it every time you use it, uh, maybe put a thin coat of oil on it, keep a thin coat of oil on it so it won't rust or corrode because of the carbon in the steel, uh, especially if you're around the salt water situation. Here's a certificate of authenticity. That word just didn't come out right, did it? But you know what I mean. 
If I tried to pronounce it over again, I'd be here saying it all night probably. Uh, now here's a sheet that my silver trident comes in. Now I really don't care for the sheet. The knife I love, the sheet I hate. And most reviews that I read, everybody feels the same way. Why would you put such a piece of junk of a sheet like this on such a good knife? When you come to the Gerber LMF survival knife, or infantry knife, this has a great sheath. Now why didn't they make a sheet like this for the silver triad? I never know. I'll never know. I mean, if it would have cost an extra twenty dollars, it would have been worth it. But uh, on the sheet, you have a place here, a little pouch. You can put a smaller knife or a sharpening stone. But with this knife, because the steel is so hard, you need something uh, like a diamond stone to sharpen this because it's such a hardened steel. It'd be, you just couldn't do it with a regular sharpening stone. You need something like a diamond coated, I guess you'd say. Uh, and on the back here, uh, you have several attachment systems. I'm not sure what all of them are. This opens up and it has Velcro here and not this Velcro there. And then this opens up and this Velcro here. Now I don't know if this is to attach it to a mold pack or what, but like I said, when you open this up, you know, you think you'd be able to pull more strap here. You can't. Uh, there's a through spot here where you can put a strap or something. I, not exactly sure what that's for. I just got the knife, so I gotta do some research on it yet. And then this opens up too, but I don't know why. I mean, I just don't I can't understand that. Now, to put it on your belt, you open it up like that, put your belt in, and then just go like this. This fit on a pistol belt. Uh, this will fit on your everyday belt you wear around your pants. Uh, but like I said, overall, this sheet is the down part of this knife. Now, it has a button fastener here, so your knife don't fall out. And this knife, you cannot get this knife out by pulling or tugging. I mean, you can pull all day on this knife, and you might be able to get it if you put a lot of strength and muscle into it, but the way it's latched in here, you, you really have to Get your thumb underneath there, lift up that little latch, and pull at the same time to get the knife out. I, uh, I mean, it's you, you, you're never gonna lose this thing. Now I'm pulling pretty good here, and it's not coming out. So you're never gonna lose this out in the woods somewhere unless you don't latch it in right. But like I said, the best way to get it out is just use your thumb, lift up on that latch, and pull the knife out all in one motion, and it pops right out of there. And then you can see a little groove uh, on both sides, so it go left-handed, right-handed. See that little groove there, Ho hopefully that shows up where that latches in that. <coughs> Excuse me. Now here's the knife itself. Now the blade's a little over 6 inches long and the overall length is a little over 11 inches long. And now the handles are really good, specially made handle chemical resistant, UV ray resistant. I mean, they did some work. It has a harder inner part and then the outer parts, a softer part for good, so you can get a good grip on it and feels really comfortable when you're gripping. Without a problem, has your finger grooves there, your fingers, and I just cut myself. This is the second time now I cut myself with this knife. It's just that sharp. You really have to pay attention. Or, well, you're going to do like I just did, cut yourself. Now, the butt you can use for hammering stuff on. So, uh, it's not really heavy duty. Uh, not like my Gerber LMF entry knife. But you can use it to hammer stuff on. It has straighted blade uh, here. and Up here too, this is a little bit more of a coarse or dense straight, I guess. Straighted type thing. It's a drop point blade, double edge, really sharp, comes to a nice point there. Uh, this knife is a really good knife. Uh, now, in a survival situation, one knife is not going to do it all. You can get a knife that's going to close, be close to doing it all, but you're not going to find that one knife that's going to do everything. But uh, this will do almost everything. Now, 
this knife here I'm gonna use in a survival situation uh, to do everyday duties I guess you say because of the way the drop point is like this you could uh, gut small fish with it you could skin and clean small animals like squirrels and rabbits with it uh, also your larger animals uh, like I said, I'm going to use this knife as a do-it-all type knife. This will probably be my number one knife in a survival situation. Uh, until then, I'm probably just going to keep it off to the side somewhat, sort of baby it. Uh, use my uh, Saab Tech Bowie that I just got more than this knife. And keep this for the real deal, I guess you could say. Now, the one thing I wouldn't do with this knife, you could do it, but I wouldn't do it is split wood or chop down small trees or tree branches. I saved that to my, for my LMF knife. Uh, I'm a firm believer in a three knife system for my survival pack, which I'll tell you about here in a minute. But uh, let's see if there's anything else I can think of to tell you about this knife. Uh, it's lightweight, it weighs at least a little over a pound. I think it weighs in like a little over 17 ounces. So uh, a couple about an ounce and some over a pound uh, good quality made the last so to me this is a really nice knife I think uh, the average price for this knife I know the list price on Gerber sites like $280 I think uh, I say in these go uh, for around 220 but I think the average price on this knife would be about uh, 180, 180 dollars. <clears throat> I paid 156 dollars for this plus sales tax. So to me, that wasn't a bad price at all. Uh, Might have got it a couple of dollars cheaper, but most places have a couple of dollars more. I think Amazon. I just checked Amazon earlier. They're up around 174 dollars. And like I said, I paid 156 for this. So I think I got a pretty good deal. Now, uh, what else can we tell you about this knife? Basically, uh, I don't, can't really think of anything, are it? This is, this is going to be a good survival knife for me. Now, like I said earlier, I'm going to have a combination of three knives for my survival bug out situation. I don't think one survival knife can do it all. You can get a survival knife or do just about everything, but not one knife's going to do it all. So for general everyday use, I'll use my Gerber Silver Trident. And for heavy duty stuff, I'm going to use my uh, Gerber LMF Infantry Knife. Now this has a more heavier duty hammer on it, so any <coughs> hammer is going to be need done with a knife, I'll use this one. This more heavy duty or I will hold up longer, last longer hammering. Uh, for chopping small trees, tree branches, I'll be using this uh, knife. It's just a heavier, dutier knife, so it'll hold up better doing something like that. For splitting wood, this has a really thick blade back here, so this will be really a better knife for hammering a piece of wood on this to split another piece of wood. So overall, this will be the knife I use for all the heavy duty jobs. Now, <clears throat> for the finer jobs like skinning small game, cleaning fish, cleaning small game, detail carving, food preparation, that sort of stuff, I'm going to use my AR 3.0, my Gerber AR 3.0. And like I said, this is a 3 inch rated blade, about 6 inches overall. And, uh, this will be for my finer type things. So with the combination of all three knives and the survival situation, I should have everything covered. Well, I'm Prepper Mark. I want to thank you all for watching. Take care and God bless.